How we doing there, boys and girls? Man, this here, and welcome back to another video. Um, before we get too deep into this, I'm seriously sick. I'm ill. I've had man flu for three days, and it's really annoying me at this point, but I wanted to make some videos, so I'm going to sound gross in this video, so I really apologize about that, but we'll be back to normal soon. Um, today, though, I wanted to talk about a little feature that turned up in patch 10.0.7. We had talked, uh, we spoke about this previously on the channel, um, but one thing to do with public orders, uh, a significant change happened, and a lot of people seemed to be uh, getting caught out by this, and there's a solution that has cropped up, and that's what I really want to talk about today. Um, but just a quick bit of backstory for those that care. In 10.0.7, they made the slight change to public work orders so that, uh, well, apparently there's lots of them now. If you've taken a little bit of a look at your crafting order uh, bench for any of your professions, you might be surprised to see, well, hey, orders at last. Uh, why couldn't they have done this at the beginning? Um, Haha, not everything is quite so it seems. The significant change that happened in 10.0.7 is that they made it so that you can put out a public order without providing any of the materials. Now, this does, yes, mean that there appears to be a lot more orders than there once was. Uh, but pretty much everything you see on this list is something that most players probably don't want to touch. Um, it's a weird solution to a system uh, from Blizzard. I was, you know, I heavily questioned why they would choose to do this in the first place. And realistically, all that's happened is that in the first few days, a whole bunch of people have been scammed out a bunch of materials and it feels really harsh. But anyway, let's take a quick look at what I mean then. So like rhinestone sunglasses, for example, here, there's a commission of 100 gold on these and you're like, oh, right, yeah, cool. I, I, just 100 gold, right? Genius. Excellent. When you go into it, though, and you take a look at the order, all of a sudden you can see that nothing's been provided. Um, now, I've got a little add-on here. I think this is Auctionator. Um, somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. There's a little add-on. One of my add-ons is uh, showcasing me what it costs to craft this item based on sort of recent prices for the materials. And you can see nearly 570 gold to craft this item. Somebody is willing to pay me a commission of 100 gold to craft it. But I have to provide all the mats. So I'm going to be out of pocket a good 470 gold if I press, if I complete this order. Now this is where it's up to you to decide what to do. Uh, if you are still trying to level your profession, maybe four, 500 gold for some skill points is worthwhile. Maybe if you're trying to get first time craft bonuses, maybe four, 500 gold for, some, for a first time craft knowledge point is worth it to you. But in the long term, you're just going to want to ignore these. You want to get these to disappear, go away. Why would you ever pay to craft somebody else's gear? Um, so much so that people have started to consider this a bit of a scam. But where's the solution then? Let's get into the details of this. Where is the actual solution here? Well, the solution is a little add-on called Public Order Reagent Column. Um, some clever clogs threw together a little add-on really super fast. Um, and basically all it does is it adds this extra column to the list where it shows the amount of reagents that have been supplied. Uh, so in this case, you can very quickly see none. No reagents were offered with this. Ignore it. You can go back. Um, let's have a little bit of a look at the public orders again. Let's try something else. Let's look at, I don't know, the Elemental Lariat, for example. There's three orders here, and very quickly we can see the reagents tab is showing none, some, or all. Um, the one with all, oh, hey presto, we might actually want to do this one great, but I don't have the recipe, boo. Um, now there is an extra little bonus uh, thing you can press here, hide listings that do not provide all of the materials. If you, with your profession, are not looking to gain skill points or you are not looking to uh, craft things for the first time, tick this button and a bunch of stuff will start start to disappear off your list. You can see all of a sudden there isn't actually anything there. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be able to kick in on the front page, so you are going to have to still scroll through some of the options, unfortunately. Um, the irony here is the crystal tuning forks, 33 outstanding orders for these. Not a single one is providing all of the reagents. Um, this is what it's turned into, unfortunately. Whilst I do think from Blizzard's perspective, it does showcase the fact that uh, 
public orders do exist and people were using them. It's just they weren't sticking around more than like two or three seconds before somebody clicks it, somebody starts the order, somebody crafts it and they're off. Um, but the TLDR to this video realistically is try not to get scammed and be very, very careful when using the public orders. Now, I will leave a link to this public order reagent column add-on in the description down below. Make sure you go download it uh, as it's going to prevent, hopefully in most cases, you crafting something for somebody else at a cost to you, um, which is in most people's minds, absolute madness. Um, but you know, Blizzard wanted to make it so that people think orders exist. This was apparently the solution that they chose. I don't think it was uh, a sensible one in any way, shape or form. I'm of the opinion that it's better to see no orders than to see orders that you don't want to fill. Um, but you know, I'm lucky. I kind of have known what I'm doing with this. I worry that there's lots of people out there that have just seen orders and be like, oh yeah, cool, bang, click. All of a sudden it's hoovered up materials out of their bags. Um, and they realize what's happened at a later date. But anyway, I'll leave it there for this video, boys and girls. I'm going to keep this one short because, as you can tell, I am not healthy. I, <laughs> I should probably not be playing video games. Um, but they're fun, right? So I'm going to continue doing it. We'll be back to full health soon. We'll be back to streaming again on Monday. Come say hi if you wish. Twitch.tv forward slash Mantheus. Uh, or come check out the Discord. There's lots of goal-making discussions going on about what's going on now. Plus, also, there's lots of discussions going on about 10.1. So if you're intrigued about that, come say hi. Um, links are in the description down below. Um, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you're new around here. And I'll catch you boys next time. Peace.